Are you prepared to discover the secrets that lie behind the discussion around Social Security? Today is the day that we are going to go headfirst into the reform and phasing out process. Hello everyone, and thank you for tuning in to Stimulus Updates, your go-to channel for the most recent news and updates on various economic stimulus packages. I am Alai, your host, and I am pleased to inform you that we have some very exciting news to share with you today. However, before we get into the changes for today, make sure that you click the button to subscribe and that you set on the notification bell so that you are never left without an update on anything that has to do with stimuli. During these trying times, we are here to keep you informed and to give you the power to make decisions. What's up? Let's get right down to business. Today, we have a topic that has been generating a lot of excitement in the comments section, and it is nothing short of a doozy the elimination of Social Security. However, before we get into the maze of specifics, let me tell you the truth. Jerry made a remark that prompted this in-depth investigation. A huge thank you goes out to Jerry for being the driving force behind this conversation. In particular, he expressed concern on the potential repercussions of eliminating Social Security particularly for those individuals who are presently receiving benefits or who are very close to retirement within the next 10 to 15 years. It's safe to say that this is a subject that many of us can relate to on a personal level, right? The fundamentals have been discussed, and the Social Security system is based on a payroll tax of 12.4%, which is distributed as follows, 6. 2% for employees and 6.2% for employers, these funds are contributed to the Social Security Administration, which is responsible for providing a sizable portion of the payments. Is that all? This is where the trust fund comes into play. So let's get started. However, here's the kicker. Predictions suggest that the trust fund might completely deplete its assets in just 10 years. Let's chat about Senator Lee with me now. For some time now, he has been advocating for the elimination of Social Security. What is the core? Individuals who are currently employed continue to make contributions, but when it is their time to retire, there are no advantages for them. It certainly seems like a shady arrangement, doesn't it? In exchange for your contribution to a system, you are receiving less in return. However, we shouldn't immediately start freaking out just yet. We are going to break this down because, let's face it, Social Security is like a Rubik's Cube in that it is difficult and full of twists. Imagine for a moment that you are 20 years away from reaching retirement age. Senator Lee has informed you that you will continue to contribute to the system. Nevertheless, you will not receive any advantages. For a moment, that would be the same as paying rent but being told that you are not allowed to dwell in the apartment. It's not cool. In addition, what about fairness? Even if we reduce payments for people who are 20 years away from retirement, they will still be contributing to the support of those who are already receiving benefits. It is the equivalent of paying for a buffet, but not receiving a dish of food. Where exactly is the logic in that? It is possible that some people will say, hey, let's use the trust fund to cover those who are getting close to retirement. To put that into perspective, the trust fund may appear to be a treasure trove, but it actually has a total value of $2.70 trillion. Nevertheless, <laughs> consider the situation as if you were trying to keep your Ferrari fueled using the monthly budget of a gas station. Therefore, the elimination of Social Security it's not exactly the most brilliant solution. It would be the equivalent of attempting to fix a leaking roof by tearing down the entire home. Volunteers have been making contributions for many years. Then, all of a sudden, they are informed that it was all for nothing. It is hardly the most effective method for gaining friends and influencing people, is it? Let us instead shift gears and talk about reforming the system. It is possible that the superhero cape Social Security needs might be met by having a slight increase in the payroll tax. If it means that they will receive their fair share of the benefits when they retire, 
the majority of individuals would be fine with a little increase. It's similar, like paying a little bit more for a premium subscription on Netflix instead. You may rest assured that you are receiving greater value for your money. Now take a step back and look at the bigger picture. The Social Security program is not only about us. Developing a system that is suitable for all individuals is the goal here. It's about making sure that future generations have a safe and secure future. Therefore, rather than pressing the panic button, let us organize a rally in support of Social Security reform. But hold on, there's more to come. In the context of the debt discussion, Social Security is frequently brought up. It is argued that it is an additional load on our already substantial national debt. Breaking news? That $33 trillion in debt is a separate entity from the rest of the debt. It's not the responsibility of Social Security. To a greater extent, it is the consequence of other spending extravaganzas, particularly in the defense sector. Then why is there such a strong drive to eliminate it? There are some people who are under the impression that it is a magic wand that would make the national debt vanish. Beware of spoilers, it won't happen. If you try to reduce weight by avoiding eye contact with the scale, you will not be successful. Let's also discuss the sense of urgency. In just 10 years, the trust money will detonate like a time bomb that has been setting off for quite some time. This is not a haircut at all. For those who are currently receiving benefits, that is a financial buzz cut. What would it be like to rely on Social Security and then suddenly be faced with a quarter less? It's not exactly a stroll in the park when it comes to money, is it? Consider this for a moment. Since you started working more than 20 years ago, putting money into the system, then all of a sudden they hit you with a notice that says there are no benefits for you. Having to pay for a music streaming service just to discover that they have removed your playlist is a frustrating experience. This is not precisely the kind of consumer experience that we had anticipated. Therefore, there is a genuine sense of urgency. Performing Social Security is not merely a recommendation. Rather, it is an absolute requirement. Moreover, it is not about placing additional burdens on the working class. An increase in the payroll tax of a tiny amount is a small price to pay for the assurance of a safe retirement. It is possible that Senator Lee has a few supporters who are cheering him on, but let's face it, this is not a stadium where enthusiasm necessarily converts into ideas that can be implemented. It is a complex matter.